Hello viewers in Joe Tactics here and today I will be teaching you guys about elevators and I hope you guys understand that the point of these videos is not to teach you how to build stuff because of course I am teaching you how to build things but that's not the point the point is to teach you how to think about building it how to basically invent it because there's no point in me telling you exactly how to place the blocks because that doesn't teach you anything to teach you something I need to tell you how to think, how to go about building it if you were the first one to build it and no one else had even ever thought of it. So um, that's the idea. I have two elevators that actually work, one here which is uncovered and you can see the pistons and then one here which is nice and good looking. So we're going to go over here and we're going to ride this elevator. So we start here and it takes us up. Okay, it takes us up and we have a chest here, we can grab our items and go so that is that elevator and here's a shorter one uh, it's basically the same exact idea except we can see the pistons and the reason I uh, put this one like it is set it up how it is is because I want you to be able to see it in action now who's gonna be traveling up it this villager and there we go so um, we transported our happy villager up to from that point to that point so that's pretty cool and I don't want to listen to him the entire tutorial going hmm because it's really annoying so we're just gonna have to end his life I'm sorry but now we need to learn how to build it okay so you need a solid block and this is if you're in creative mode I don't know the exact quantity you will need to build the elevators and it's kind of pointless because you'll be building an elevator your own height like whatever height you want it to be so I can't tell you um, how much how many materials it's gonna be anyways so you need a solid block some solid blocks um, redstone torch redstone repeaters redstone obviously uh, you need sticky pistons normal pistons what else you're gonna need a button I'm um, gonna get a lever. You don't really need it, but I'm gonna get it to demonstrate something. And is that it? You need glass. So that is it. Now we are done, and we can uh, get ready to build it. So you want to decide how tall it's gonna be, and then you want to build a wall up to how tall you want it to be. And I'm just gonna make mine. Actually, let's make it not very tall. Let's make it about this tall. Still exciting, but not too tall. Because if it's really tall, you're just going to see me placing a whole bunch of blocks like I am now. And it's going to be less of a tutorial. So I guess I'll speed the parts up where I place blocks like that. So, um, how you want to start out is like this. You can have a button here. going to have a piston facing up. And sticky piston facing toward it. Then you have a piston here and then sticky piston toward that and what you want to do is put blocks in between it to make it look nice okay so you're gonna basically do this pattern all the way up and the trick is to do it every other one Okay, so we have the basic layout, we have the piston layer, and we're going to add the glass. So what you want to do with the glass is obviously you can't put it here, or you can't walk in and plus the buttons in the way. So you want to add it starting here. So it's going to be, you skip two blocks and then you start adding the glass. And once you're up to this point, you're going to add some blocks for them to stand on. And then you can add a piston here, and that is to push the player onto the platform so they don't just fall straight down. Okay, so now what you want to do is add a, a normal piston right here, and now we can start with the wiring. Now, most of the wiring, um, most of the uh, dynamic wiring is going to be underground. And the other wiring above ground, as you can see, will just be very uniform and the same way every time. So you don't have to do this exactly like I'm doing um, I just want to show you how you would go about doing this so um, we're gonna have redstone here and we want it to be completely um, 
hidden. We don't want any of redstone wire to be visible to the person who will go up the elevator. So we're just going to put that there. Powers block, powers the repeater, and then we can get an output without actually, um, without seeing any of the redstone. And do we even need, okay, so we're just going to put redstone there, and that works. How does that, oh, okay, I see how it works. So basically, what's going on is this button's powering this block, powers this redstone, powers this block, powers this piston. Um, I didn't see that earlier, so I didn't understand how that was working. Now I do. So you can just do that, just add a redstone there. And now what you want to do is build torch towers, because how can you transfer signals upward in a wave, kind of, like this elevator? If we watch it, you can see it travel in kind of a wave. So we want to use torch towers. It's a really good method of doing that. But first, before we get into that, I want to go over here and show you how these individual pistons will be working. So we have a block, we have two blocks on top like that, sticky piston here, and then a normal piston facing up. Here's how it's gonna work, okay? So it's gonna be like, it's gonna start out like this. Here's our control. And if you watch, it's gonna act just as you'd expect. This will push out, this will power this piston, which will then be here, and we have that. And when it retracts, it's a bit counterintuitive how it retracts. What it's gonna do, is it's going to instantly take this piston down and instantly take that one uh, retracted. So, you would expect that they are going at the exact same time, therefore this piston will pull and forget about this piston because it detects that it is still um, retracting. But really, since it's instant, you can actually retract both of these instantly and they will be under these blocks again. Okay, so it didn't work this time. I'm starting to wonder if it's directional, or, yeah, I think I have to put a block like this. Um, maybe I don't. Maybe I have to take away that block. I'm not exactly sure how this works, but I did get it to work last time. I am just absolutely confused as to why it's not working right now, because it worked perfectly the first time I did it. Um... Let me try facing it this way and see if it works. It may be directional. I have no idea. It is. So, as you can see, um, for some reason, this is not working. And this is working. I have no clue why this is. No idea. Absolutely no idea. And I seriously hope it doesn't affect the elevator because I wouldn't want this elevator to be directional. It might be, and I'm really sorry if you build it and it doesn't work. So just conduct this simple test. Do a sticky piston here and just form a U-shape of redstone and do this test and see if it works. And if it doesn't work, then you know you probably can't build it there. So, um, yeah, I can't build it in that direction, I guess. I don't know. It was just working a second ago like that. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. But, um, so far all of my elevators have worked and I haven't had that problem. So, just conduct that simple test. And like I said, if it is not working in this direction, don't build your elevator that direction. You want to build it sideways to that. Because if I turn this way, and I do the same test, I have to do it like this, then it should work. Yeah, so, always to make sure it is facing the right direction because it may be directional and, and it may affect the elevator I still don't really understand why it does that but it's just the way it works so um, yeah that's how it is so make sure you build your elevator in the right direction and now to the circuitry so we want to build the torch tower but we're gonna build it on the side and I'll explain why in a second but we're gonna start off like this and we're just gonna continue on and don't worry about the pistons being extended Alright, now what you want to do is put a block here, like that, and you want to add redstone. Do the same thing to the other side, except you want to raise it one. So just to where it interacts with the pistons. Another tip 
is to make absolutely sure that you're not doing this. You do not want to do this. Alright, just make sure that you're doing it correctly and the torch is right next to the piston rather than the block powering the piston because that is absolutely not going to work. Alright, so now we have it all wired up. That's pretty much it, except all I need to do now is add blocks here and add redstone on top of that. So what this is going to do is it's going to allow it, allow the signal to travel up in a waveform, right? So that is what this does. And um, if we go over here and we click this button, it's only going to push this piston up because we haven't plugged it in to any of these other pistons. And the reason they're extended is because we haven't inverted the signal. So here, really simple, here's the torches. We want to invert them all on this side, so we just put torch there, and you can see the signal kind of zigzag up, and then it inverts it on one side. And then on the other side, they will be powered. So now we have this side good, and it's seamless. We want to add a control to it, so we're just going to run this straight down to it, like so. And we're going to have to add a repeater if we don't want it to be visible. And we can do the same to the other side. We just add a repeater and we will hook it up. But the problem is we need to add a torch here because we don't want redstone coming out of the ground because that will add an extra layer to the redstone where you can see it and that's ugly. We don't want to be able to see it. So we just put a torch here and then under that torch under the block, we're going to put another torch. Now this will invert it twice, and that's going to create a problem. They're all going to be powered on this side again. So we invert it one more time. Now sure, this will cause delay, but you know, if we want it to um, be very nice looking, then this is how we're going to do it. Then we put a block here. We're going to put torch here. Redstone powers the block, powers the torch, and then just goes up the torch tower, right? So now it works, and it works with perfect delay, because this right here, um, this adding of delay using these torches, how I had to invert it twice just to make it uh, invisible like that, where I can put blocks over it, that will actually add the perfect amount of delay, so we don't need to do anything else. Our elevator should be perfectly functional right now. Alright, so if we get in here... All we have to do is stand against this wall and be kind of in the middle and we press this. Now boom, we're there. But as you just saw, one of the problems with this is that we fall back down. Nobody wants to fall down in survival and get themselves killed. So we can do something very easy to fix this. Torch, we add a block there. And you want to get out glowstone, I forgot glowstone, sorry. And you want to put that right there. Because you don't want to bud this piston. What I mean is, if there's a piston right here, and I power this block, and then I update this piston, it's going to power, even though it shouldn't. And then if I unupdate it, or I uh, depower it right here, then I update it again, it's going to depower. Now, it shouldn't do this. Um, this is because of a glitch called a bud piston. And what we need to do to fix this from happening here is we add glowstone. Now, we ha we add the torch here and a block because we cannot get power from this torch with this glowstone because glowstone cannot be powered by blocks. Or, uh, yeah, it can't be powered by anything. It cannot be powered as a block, but you can have live redstone wire on top of it. So we just put a torch here, this block powers this redstone, and then we can put a repeater, two tick delay, facing this piston, and then it will push you. So that once you reach up here, it's going to push you back onto this platform. But let's say um, you finish these pistons are on this side, instead of being on this side. What you would do in that case is change this from over here to over here. So remember, this piston will always be on the opposite side of this, and uh, vice versa. So that's how that's going to work. And that has to be a two tick delay, or else you won't get up there. Or you will get up there, and the piston will be already extended, and it'll block you, and you'll fall down anyways. So, you have to be, like, right in the middle, 
touching the wall, and then, yeah. There we go. So we got it to work that time. Like I said, the only con of this elevator is that you have to be in the exact right place, or you will have problems. So, um, once again, touching the wall right in the middle, we click this button, and it transports us safely up. And as long as you're in the right place, you shouldn't have any problems with this elevator. It may break in uh, later updates and snapshots because it's not exactly very stable. It uses a method of zigzagging you back and forth in order to transport you up. And I will show you what I mean. We're going to try this on another villager and hope he's smart enough not to move while in the elevator. So. As you can see, he was kind of in the middle, because it the pistons are pushing him and zigzagging him back and forth, and he stays in the middle and gets transported up. So, that is how that works, and hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a rating, comment, and subscribe.